Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Ladies and gentlemen, by popular demand, I have been asked by quite a few of you to do videos on inventory. So guess what? We have arrived. I will most likely do a few videos, but this first video will be on, of course, for the first video, setting up the inventory in your QuickBooks. Over here, you will see I'm under item list. I went under list, item lists. And I already have a bunch of different inventories set up over here. And I will give you the idea of what the scheme is and I will show you how I set this up. So, that being said, uh, the first thing you want to consider is creating categories and subcategories. Uh, this over here on my left side, my Cabela, uh, that's my category. Q brush, that's my category. Tweezers, that's my main category. Under tweezers, you see I have packaging one, packaging two, packaging three, packaging four. That's my subcategories. And for each subcategory, I had sub items as well, which is T-BP and so whatnot. So this is pretty much my item, sub items. I call it category, subcategories until you get to the actual item itself. But it's all under items. Uh, the next field over is your description. Uh, the next field over is uh, whether it's a service or inventory type. This is what chart of accounts it goes under. This is what on hand we have. Uh, this is what's on sales order. And this is the price of it. The price right now everything is on zero uh, for a purpose. But I will show you how to put some numbers behind that. Next thing I want to show you is uh, going inside the details of one of the existing inventories for example this one I'm kind of doing this the reverse way and by the end of this video I'm gonna show you how to actually create one from scratch uh, but by showing you this you'll kind of get the understanding of how it's already implanted in there so you'll have a nice little visual to understand it so I'm gonna double click on this it's gonna open up this box over here and uh, you'll see that I have the item name. It's a sub item of packaging one, which packaging one is a sub item of tweezers. So if you do a little drop down menu, uh, you get to choose where you want to put your stuff at. So of course, when I created this, I said I wanted to go under packaging one. Of course, if I change it now to packaging two, that's what it's going to do. But back to packaging one over here, I have my description. Uh, for purchase transactions, I can change the description for sales transactions. So for my vendors, I may want to have one thing. For my customers, clients, I may want to have a different thing. In this case, it's the same. Uh, for the cost, I went ahead and put a cost here for you. So uh, uh, this basically would show you what the cost is. So you could change this at any time to whatever you want. Sale price is if you have a set sale price because prices may fluctuate, you may just want to leave that at zero. But if you have a steady price, you can, you know, go ahead and put it on. Uh, same thing for the cost. You know, you may get something one day for three dollars, another day for five dollars. So it all depends whether you want to put an actual cost behind it or not. But uh, for the cost, it is recommended to put something. Um, this is a cost of goods sold, so it's under cost of goods sold as far as this account goes. Uh, preferred vendor. Uh, you could put if you have an actual preferred vendor uh, that you get this item from. If you get this item from multiple vendors then you may not have a preferred but you could choose one. Income account. Uh, this is part of your chart of accounts. Uh, and Once again you can break it up into sub accounts and so whatnot but for the tweezer line we just created a tweezer one. You'll see over here Q brush, my Cabela, compact mirrors. So these are all separated income accounts. So that way, the inventory that I'm setting up is going to go in respect to the right income account. So everything has to tie in together. Okay, everything has to tie in together. All right, I'm going to hit OK and get out of here.
And last but not least, I'm going to show you how to create an item from scratch using a main category, a subcategory, and then the item. I'm going to slide over to item, go to new. I will choose inventory part. I will call this main category. There is no sub item because it's the main. I will call it main category. This is where, for example, it would be like the tweezer. I'm not putting a cost because it's not the item, just the category. However, I'm still putting it under the income account that I created for it, call it tweezers. I'm going to hit OK. Then I will go back to item new. I should have actually hit next. Uh, but I'm going to go back to inventory part. I'm going to call this subcategory number one. Because of course you could do subcategory number two and so what not. Under the main category, this is where packaging one, packaging two, packaging three came into play. So this is where it would have been, you know, sub category number one. Still no cost because it's I'm really classifying it as a subcategory. Uh, but for income account. We are going to choose tweezers and I will hit next. I'm going to ignore all for now. Doesn't really matter. And lo and behold, we're going to actually create the inventory part right now. So I will call this inventory number one. This will go under not the main category, but the subcategory. And I will call this inventory number one for my vendors but for my retailers I want to call this the purple splash whatever so this is where you could change that around and over here is where I put my cost so let's say my cost is five dollars and if you do have a pretty steady price and you or you have a main default selling price you can put that over here preferred vendor once again you can choose one goes under tweezers and there you have it. I'm going to hit OK. We're back to our item list. You will see I have main category, subcategory number one, and inventory number one, just like my tweezers, packaging one, and my actual item. And that concludes this segment for inventory. I'm sure I'm going to have more questions, and I'm I already know I could do more stuff on inventory, uh, but we got to you know, walk before we can run. So this is how you walk with inventory. Of course, from this point, you know, you would put in a PO, receive the items, and so whatnot. This is where it could get a little tricky at times, uh, but we'll take it one step at a time, you guys. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.